गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिक्सटी नाइन्थ एपिसोड ऑफ संडे टेक टॉक बाई टेक फोरम दिस प्रोग्राम इज ब्रॉड टू यू बाय इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ इंजीनियर पुणे लोकल सेंटर एंड यूर टेक फोरम टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ वेरी अमेजिंग सब्जेक्ट कॉल ट्रिज इट्स अ रशियन टेक्निक ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग थेरी ऑफ इनोवेटिव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इज गोइंग टू बी इंट्रोड्यूस by our friend mr pardikar hemant pardikar hemant ji is msc statistics from pune university in 1975 and uh, studying trades theory of inventive problem solving for the past 5 years completed three certificates from international trades association brussels this is the highest certification obtained in india by trades learners presented research paper on international trades conference held in austria so we have such a knowledgeable personality today uh, in tech forum for delivering the lecture on a very very innovative way of problem solving uh, without spending much time with this little introduction i will request mr hemant ji to start his presentation thank you yeah thank you mr rabade first of all i wish to thank tech forum and mr vilas rabade for giving me this opportunity to speak and also i want to thank mr parikshit deval who introduced me to uh, uh, tech forum let me start straight away actually uh, trees is a very vast subject in fact uh, i had uh, 150 hours of learning uh, classroom sessions Uh, in all the three certifications put together uh, i am trying to compress it in 40 minutes but the whole attempt is to give a general idea of what is the power of trees so let me let me start straight away one second yeah Henrik Altschuler a Russian inventor and a patent inspector developed trees with his students over 30 years am i audible to everybody yes yes very much go ahead uh, yeah okay thank you they studied 40000 patents to understand if there is a what is the underlying inventive principles so but uh, altschuler had a rub with the uh, authorities earlier and he, for a short while he landed in Uh, Siberian jails. So there was always a surveillance on him, and so he could not contact anybody outside USSR for a long time. And Trace was known uh, to the outside world after Altshuler and others migrated to Boston in USA in 1990 after disintegration of USSR. Till now, 25 million patents have been examined. Actually, till 2019, but the basic structure of Trace, which Altshuler and his uh, colleagues uh, proposed remains unaltered you know it is something like roots and trunks and large branches of a tree remain unaltered it is only the small branches and the leaves which keep on changing so thus trisk is a extract of inventive experience of millions of inventors sorry um, you know first i will let me address one question that would that may come in your mind is why trees there are so many other creativity methods design thinking six sigma theory of constraints value engineering why one more what is that trees has which, which all these do not have is trees only old wine in new bottle or is there something else so let me address that in next 30 seconds unique advantages of th trees there are three unique advantages of trees first is industry agnostic trends of technical system evolution this is what uh, trace uh, uh, research has found that all technical systems follow a very predictable path of evolution and which is agnostic industry agnostic which has high and this gives high predictive power of future evolution of technical systems we'll see it at the end of the uh, this presentation then there is a strong idea generation method 
by addressing psychological inertia and resolving contradictions. You know, most of the uh, creativity methods use brainstorming as a idea generation method, but stress does not use brainstorming at all. The uh, other creativity methods start from the current problem and work forwards, whereas trees inverse the method. Uh, trees postulates an ideal situation and then works backward. So these are three unique things about trees, which other uh, creativity methods do not have. So what is an inventive problem? The crux of every inventive problem is one or more contradictions. In a technical system, trying to improve one characteristics results in deterioration of one or more other characteristics. Like if you use a high horsepower motor, maybe the um, production is faster, but then uh, more heat is generated, more uh, maybe more noise is generated, more electricity uh, is consumed. And one of these negative factors may uh, go to an unacceptable level. So the usual way is to find a compromise by optimization method, which is that negative, uh, negative effects are to be kept at an acceptable level and maximize the positive effect. Tris says this is suboptimal. An inventive solution solves the contradiction without compromise. That is, the positive effect is fully available, whereas the negative effect is fully controlled. The central focus of Tris is to resolve contradictions without compromise. So what are the general findings of TRIS from study of patents? There are five levels of inventive problems. We'll see in the next slide. Very large number of inventive problems in different sciences and industries are solved by just 40 inventive principles. Similar problems and solutions were repeated across industries. Problem in one industry is often already solved in other industry. Actually, uh, all knowledge exists like silos. Even in same industry, there are silos. Like for example, uh, in auto industry, airbags are available in four wheelers, but airbag is not available in helmet of a uh, two wheeler rider. There exist definite trends in evolution of technical system, which make their future highly predictable. And higher level of inventions spawn many lower level inventions across industries and sciences. Once laser was uh, invented, it has been used so many multiple ways. Five levels of invention. First level one is simple improvement and which is the apparent solution. So number of random trial requires is one, one to 10. And these are 32% of the all the patents are level one, uh, which is simple improvements. Level two is there is a small invention inside a existing technology. And if uh, if we do random trial, maybe 10 to 100 uh, random trials are required. And these are 45% of all patents. Third is substantial invention within a technology. For that, 100 to 1000 uh, 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 random trials are required. And they are 18% of all patents. Then level four is invention with complete paradigm shift. They may need uh, 1,000 to 10,000 random, trial, random trials are used and uh, they constitute less than 5% of the uh, total patents. And new discoveries may need more than 10,000 random trials and they constitute only 0.03% of uh, total patents. Now we can see that as, as the difficulty of uh, invention increases, uh, random trials uh, um, are less and less effective. Second thing is, what Tris uh, experts discovered was, most of the problems faced in, on the shop floor are up to level three, which means that an uh, in-house knowledge of Tris can solve most of so much, 95% of the problems uh, faced on the shop floor. This is the common uh, format of inventive thought. This is a problem. This is concept one. 
variant of concept one, concept two, concept three, concept four, uh, concept five. At some point of time, concept n will will hit the solution. This is the common uh, way, uh, say Eureka works, or or Eureka is thought to work, but uh, uh, Tris says not by random trials, but by structured thinking, it is possible to do inventions. What is the structure thinking that Tris proposes? It is as follows. This is the specific problem. This is the specific solution that uh, we want. And there is a huge barrier in between. So Tris circumvents this barrier by converting specific problem to generic Tris problem. This is by using analogy and generalization and overcoming psychological inertia. I'll come to this in, in a minute. Uh, then generic problem uh, is solved by Tris tool into generic solution. And then generic solution is converted into specific solution by use of scientific knowledge, scientific or technical knowledge and analogy. And sometimes there could be a psychological inertia here as well. So this is the way in which, uh, this is the general format of Tris thinking process. Now, what is uh, psychological inertia? Let me give a good example. It is called monkey trap, South Indian monkey trap. So in South India, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, they catch monkeys in this way. Uh, there is a coconut which is tied to a tree uh, with a long rope. The coconut has a hole and some food inside. The hole is big enough for the monkey's hand to go in, but small enough for his, his fist with the food to come out and the monkey is caught. Now monkey has always has the chance to leave this hand and be free, but it never occurs to him. So the trap is not in the coconut. The trap is in monkey's mind. It is the rigidity of thoughts. So now we all get into monkey traps day in and day out and they are very subtle and uh, deceptive and uh, uh, some of the reasons why we get into monkey trap is rigidity of thoughts, hidden assumptions, ignoring boundary conditions of phenomena and ignoring change of context. Change of context, the uh, most famous example is of uh, NASA who used uh, who spent $1 million to uh, make a, a pen which writes in space and Russians used pencil. So the, the on Earth, gravity is given, but in, in space, gravity is not there. The context has changed. Now let us take an interesting example. Washing machines. Do we wash clothes or make butter from by using it? Can top-loading washing machine be used to make butter from curd on commercial scale? Now, this churning action, which, which was used for centuries to make, make butter, is the same churning action which this pulsator does. So, if this can do the same churning action, there is no reason why it could not make uh, butter from curd. In fact, in Punjab, indeed, they do it. And so what our problem while thinking is, suddenly if I make out of context this statement, wash clothes or make butter, you know, our uh, what our um, thinking is, we focus on the image of washing machine. We do not look, look at what function it performs. It, it performs the same churning function, which this uh, hand churner does. Some housewives even use the centrifuge in washing machine to dry green leafy vegetables kept in a porous bag after washing them manually. In fact, my wife has been doing this for about a decade or so. You know, you look at what function is getting performed. So if we look at this, probably this washing machine uh, may be useful in 10, 10 other different activities which, which right now we cannot conceive. But uh, first thing uh, Tris says is always focus on function, not on the object. Now, because 
this helps to remove psychological inertia. Functionality. Comparing apples, oranges, mangoes and bananas. Now these four activities, these four functions, brushing teeth, removing carbon from spark plug, kidney stone operation and pig slip for non-performance. This all are a common general function which is to remove unwanted material. We can add another 10 to 15 um, uh, functions, uh, specific functions like this to this general function. This looking at function breaks the silos, breaks the silos of thought and uh, we can migrate problem, uh, solutions of problems one, uh, from one area into completely unrelated areas. And uh, actually this, this is one of the strongest points of uh, trace that it looks only at functions and, then, and uh, every trace solution always involves what is called as function analysis, which it looks at first is what are the useful functions, what are the harmful functions. The useful functions are also divided in uh, normal, uh, insufficient useful, uh, excessive useful and absent uh, functions. And then there is some kind of analysis and ranking of function done, and done in trace. Let us look at some trace tools. One of the things which scientists saw, uh, scientists experienced all over the world is after months or one or maybe even years of uh, uh, struggle, they felt they need to redefine their problem. So Tris says, right in the beginning, redefine the problem. So problem analysis and definition tools. So Tris spends a lot of time in redefining the problem correctly and then uses, uses the uh, problem solution tools. So finding main parameter of value S-curve analysis and trends of evolution, functional analysis, cause and effect chain analysis, key problem definition, contradiction, ideal finalization. These are the uh, problem analysis tools. And then problem solution tools are 40 inventive principle and contradiction matrix, separation principles, function oriented search, feature transfer and trimming. Some of these we will discuss. So field and 76 inverts, inventive standards. Unfortunately, there is no time for to discuss this. Uh, Trends of evolution, we'll discuss this. Uh, scientific effect database, we'll discuss this. Algorithm of inventive uh, problem solving. This is used rarely in very tough problems. <clears throat> now, from initial problem, uh, Trace always wants to come to key problem definition. Key problem. Now, let, let me take an example. Cause effect chain analysis is used, is used in, in many other areas. So, and it is not uh, exclusive preserve of, of trees. Uh, dishwashers. Let me take example dishwasher. Dishwashers have failed in India. What is the reason? peculiarities of Indian cooking. If we do cause effect chain analysis, the final key problem that we arrive at is that there is a strong bond created between the metal utensils and the organic matter due to evaporation of water or partial burning of the organic matter. And the problem to be resolved is how to, how to break these bonds and separate uh, metal and the organic matter. We, we, we don't necessarily need a dishwasher. Probably the answer could lie in chemistry the, of a non-toxic spray. You spray in the on the utensils, keep them for five minutes and just rinse them. So it is quite possible to do it in this way. So um, Tris says, first define the key problem. Next, let us look at Contradiction and ideal final result. Contradiction is the crust of crux of all inventive problems. Now, I will <clears throat> let us look at a problem which 
in my childhood days we used to see there were no very few ceiling fans and there used to be uh, table fans or large pedestal fans so the uh, so if pedestal fan has large blades it gives better cooling effect but occupies large space for useful for humans and it was also also uh, dangerous because uh, especially for women it could suck their uh, suck their uh, clothes into the fan blades so if uh, so there was a positive effect and there is a negative effect now inverse of this is if a pedestal fan has small blades then less space is occupied but there is less cooling so technical contradiction always comes in this pairs some uh, pairs of this kind uh, we can have a look at another technical contradiction if food is fried more then it tastes good but more calories are consumed the inverse of it is if food is fried less then less calories are consumed but it does not taste good now this technical contradiction can be converted into what is called as physical contradiction physical contradiction both together can be converted into an into a single contradiction for better cooling fan blades have to be big but for occupying less space fan blades have to be small that means fan blades have to be big and fan blades have to be small so this is uh, some kind of a uh, demand on on the physical size of the um, blades so uh, physical contradictions are better way of resolving contradiction rather than technical contradictions similarly for the food if the food is fried uh, for the food to taste uh, taste uh, uh, good it should be fried more but for the uh, to consume less calories the food should be fried less so food should be fried more and food should be fried less all contradictions are resolved only by 14 into principles let me uh, give a list of uh, 40 inventive principle just for the sake of completion but the list will uh, not really add to any kind of uh, knowledge uh, segmentation taking out local quality what is meant by for example what is meant by equipped potentiality this word uh, word itself is not going to um, add any value so what i will do is um, i will share a a very wonderful presentation of University of Southampton on uh, on 40 inventive principles. There are 40 slides and how segmentation is. Segmentation is the most uh, used uh, inventive principle uh, in all, all scientific and technical activities. So um, what is dynamics? What is partial or excessive action? And it is given in very nice detail. So I will just share that with the uh, uh, as soon as this um, program is over. Now, instead of uh, Satyajit solved one contradiction. Uh, earlier, you know, last time Mr. Satyajit Mittal came, so he solved one contradiction. The contradiction was that the uh, children's uh, feet grow, but the shoes do not grow. So this was the contradiction which he solved. And so, because it's also, so his uh, um, solution is an inventive solution. Now, these uh, uh, physical contradictions, you know, the uh, uh, there is a, a tool called contradiction matrix, which was the first tool invented by the makers of trees. But the um, school of trees in which I am trained does not use contradiction matrix. In fact, even Alshula stopped using contradiction matrix when trees was fully developed. Um, the other method is to solve the physical contradiction. And the physical contradictions can be solved um, much, uh, 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 much easily. And uh, because in a contradiction matrix, there was some kind of a trial and error involved. Here, no trial and error is what, and it can be sort much easily. And same forty principles are used here also. And all the physical contradictions earlier, 
this is a physical contradiction. For better cooling of fan blades, uh, fan blades have to be big, but for occupying less space, fan blades have to be small. This is a physical contradiction. Now, uh, physical contradictions can be solved by a, separating the contradictory requirements, uh, then satisfying the contradictory requirements, or bypassing the contradictory requirements. Separation, satisfaction, and bypass. Separation, there are four major ways of separation. There are four primary ways of separation. Separation in space. Large fan is installed on the ceiling. If the fan is installed on the ceiling, you can have blade of any dimension. At the same time, so blade can be large as much as you want. At the same time, there is zero interference with the human, uh, human activities. Likewise, separation in time. Traffic signals at crossing smoothen the traffic flow by separation in time. Separation in relation. A window has to be closed so that sunlight does not come, but the window has to be opened for breeze to come. So, uh, to solve this kind of contradiction, window blinds allow air but not sun rays. Separation at system level. A hair dye has to be reactive to um, dye the hair quickly, but it has to be it has not to be reactive so that it can be stored and transported. So, store, so hair dye is stored as two separate uh, inert chemicals and uh, it is reactive when mixed. Resolving physical contradictions by satisfaction and bypass. Satisfaction. Long distance runner needs long running track to practice, but there is no track in cramped urban areas. So use treadmill instead of practicing at home. Now even uh, going back to the problem of Satyajit Mittal, which he solved for the children's shoes, he also did satisfaction of opposite requirement. Because as the feet, feet grows, his, uh, his shoes also grow. Bypassing the opposite requirements. To remove kidney stones, patient need to undergo surgery, but patient is weak and cannot withstand surgery. So use ultrasound techniques to pulverize kidney stones, which will flow out with urine. Even we are using a bypass solution. To have this meeting, we all need to be together, but we are not together. So we are using Zoom. So Zoom is a bypass solution for this meeting. <clears throat> Ideal final result. This is one of the most powerful uh, tools of uh, trees. We know this riddle from our childhood days. Start from uh, start from ideal final result and work backwards. What this done is this remove all the uh, image inertia and terminological inertia and allows us to focus only on the functions and then think on how the functions are uh, to be delivered. Now, let me take two examples um, and let us look at how trees works in real life situations. And I will explain these two examples, then come back again to explain the trees process. Uh, this was a small part of the problem given to me uh, in level 2. A copper tube roll is around 100 meters or so is available and 50 centimeter pieces are to be cut from it. The tube is hollow with thin walls and copper is a soft material. The cuts are irregular so that they are again smoothened with another tool. The result is in a lot of copper dust uh, going inside the tube pieces which creates problem at the next stage of manufacture. Uh, so there is another three stage process, manual process to remove this copper dust. Still the mm, result is not satisfactory and there, there were a lot of rejections. So the ideal final result. Uh, to solve this problem, the ideal final result is copper tube by itself ensures straight cut and completely prevent copper dust from going inside. What is the physical contradiction? To have straight cuts and no dust in copper tube, it should be solid and hard, but copper tube is soft and hollow. So this is a physical contradiction. 
now how this physical contradiction is removed you know uh, that copper tube was uh, is open at one end we can pour water in it we know the internal diameter of the copper tube and the volume of water we pour so we know how much water column we can create and once we pour sufficient water of say 4 or 5 meters of water column that can be created we plug the open end and then freeze the um, uh, freeze the copper tube once frozen the uh, now there is ice in the copper tube and which is which is which makes the copper tube um, solid and hard now there can, could be one problem which is that ice expands um, uh, when it freezes but the other side of uh, uh, other side of copper tube which is the roll uh, uh, there is a lot of space so it can expand there and it will not uh, tear open the copper tube now once it is solid uh, we can straight away cut uh, 50 centimeter pieces there can be still be some copper dust on the cross section uh, where the cut cut was given so what we can do is keep it on a central pivot so that the as the water uh, um, as the ice melts and water drips uh, the two sides the two open ends droop downwards when the they open and droop downwards water will flow out of gravity and whatever little bit of um copper dust is there it will be removed <clears throat> now let us look at another problem testing alloys for corrosion a rnd lab of alloy manufacturing company would test long term effects of acid on cubes of alloy manufacturing actually this is a textbook example uh, i normally don't like to use textbook example but this is too good for uh, my explanation uh, it helps me the lab has only two gold plated containers so that the effect of acid container uh, acid on container does not impact the testing results company diversifies into many different alloys lab needs more gold plated containers management says no we cannot do management also said we want much quicker results we cannot wait for months together so what to do the ideal final result acid by itself interacts with alloy sampled to indicate the corrosion levels but as it is a liquid and cannot remain in touch with the alloy sample due to gravity so this is a physical contradiction for this reason gold plated container is required how can acid interact with alloy samples by itself nullifying gravity now the other resource other resource that is available is shape of the alloy why solid cube there is no specific reason <clears throat> i have not discussed resources resources are um, everything that is available within a technical system and around it which is not fully used so why a solid cube there is no specific reason if alloy cube is hollow from one one side and acid is poured into it then required conditions are met cube does the work of container to hold acid so this is called feature transfer interest that is now we have transferred the uh, feature of container to the uh, to the alloy sample the internal surface of cube interacts with the acid gold plated containers are dispensed with completely this is process is called trimming in fact trimming is a very um, often used process and is a very counterintuitive and very strong method of uh, trace so now now we have a we have a method where we can have 100 200 300 hollow cubes we can keep uh, we can have different composition of alloys different acids different st uh, strength of the acids and different time periods and all testing can be done simultaneously now suddenly the efficiency has gone ballistic and the only change that we did was to convert the alloy sample from a cube to a hollow cube now let us let us analyze this right from this copper tube copper tube when when it is cut the cuts are irregular now the, uh, let let me reformulate it there are three kinds of action in any process one is called product to action second is called providing action 
and third is called corrective action. I think I may uh, go beyond 40 minutes, it is 35 minutes. Maybe uh, I'll need another 10 minutes, which is I may need 45 minutes total. So, so these three actions, uh, productive action is one which contributes to the final product. Providing action is something which, uh, which is temporary and facilitates a productive action. And third is corrective action. Corrective action is one which is done to rectify a defect. So here, uh, smoothening with another tool is a corrective action. And then here also three stage uh, manual process to remove the copper dust is a corrective action. Now these corrective actions are, um, are removed completely by a providing action, which is, which is putting uh, temporarily changing the nature of the copper tube, uh, which was hollow. And then we put ice in it and make it solid and, and hard. So that is temporary to facilitate um, uh, productive action, which is just uh, cutting those 50 centimeter pieces. So the first rule is eliminate all the corrective actions by use of uh, providing actions or sometimes even the productive actions. The next is, uh, in this case, there is no, uh, no defect created. There is a providing action. Providing action is this gold-plated container which holds the acid and facilitates the uh, interaction between acid and the um, uh, and the sample. Now, this is also completely removed by a change by the product to action. So, the for improvement of any process, first among the three actions, first all the corrective actions should be removed as far as possible. It may not be um, uh, possible in 100% of cases, removing 100% of uh, corrective actions, but as far as possible. Second is uh, remove providing actions uh, by productive actions. So by doing this, there can be very significant increase in any kind of process. And this, uh, this also applies to products because products uh, have components, a component is, is there for a corrective action, a component can be there for a providing action, a component can be there for productive action. Or even the every product can be seen as a process of its components. So this um, process of trace can significantly improve any kind of product or process. Costs, how to play a tame elephant in the room. Costs are always the biggest problem industry faces. Indian industry has high cost in, glo in global comparison. Trees has a method to radically reduce the cost. So how to do it? Focus on function functions and not on the objects. First, trimming after functional analysis of products and processes. Feature transfer, we have seen trimming and feature transfer. Now, I'll come to function-oriented search. Let me give a small example. Intel had a problem that Intel, uh, uh, when making on a silicon wafer, they had to put a, a polymer called photoresist and spread it. So sometimes the polymer for unexplained reasons would have um, a bubble. If bubble comes, then they have to just discard that um, uh, uh, silicon wafer. Now they could not solve this problem. And so a trace expert was uh, uh, called. The trace expert generalized this problem. What are the industries where controlling bubbles in a liquid is a life and death problem? So. He found three industries, which is scuba diving, um, blood transfusion, and third, third is uh, champagne industry. And finally, it is the um, solution of champagne industry, which was selected by uh, Intel. And then full use of resources, of course. 
scientific effect database. Please developers have compiled database of scientific phenomena which can deliver certain functions, which is wonderful. For example, of Fortress databases uh, for a function to absorb liquid, there are 19 scientific phenomena effects. And there are 45 applications of these 19 scientific effects. For function compressed gas, there are 44 scientific effects and 39 applications. So this is the link of that uh, scientific database. Now, how technical systems evolve? Here it is uh, for technical revolution, but uh, this is applied for every technical system. That every technical system follows S curve. This something like an S curve. So this is birth. Initial stage is birth. Then there is growth. Then there is maturity. And then there is stagnation and decline. Now, but this is not, not as simple as this. It is like this. Fixed line telephony went through this uh, kind of curve. And then, why is this curve coming? Then, in between somewhere, um, uh, mobile phones developed. Mobile phones initially were uh, clumsy and costly and uh, did not perform so well. But they had great potential over a period of time. They overtook the um, fixed line telephone. And then, then the smartphones started. And smartphones have now overcome the feature phones, uh, which we used to use. Uh, 10, 15 years ago. So, in this way, S curve, there are always S curve of jumps. In every technology, there are S curve of jumps. Now, uh, battery technology has an S curve jump. Maybe battery technology has reached here. And now, uh, uh, electric cars would overcome the uh, intercom, uh, the petrol cars. <clears throat> Now, yesterday, Rabade sir um, circulated uh, something on, on change, uh, which started with an example of Kodak. So, it is this uh, not appreciating this kind of S curve gems. The whole story is about not appreciating the S curve gems, which are going to come. Three strengths all technical systems without exception, evolve around certain trends. Most important trend is of ideality. All technical systems evolve towards this ideality. Uh, just giving example, this is a, my, uh, my glasses are a vision correcting system. Now this frame is an auxiliary. It does, it only uh, providing, it does have providing function to facilitate uh, holding the uh, lenses. So even, even this can be eliminated by having contact lenses. Even, laid, even contact lenses are not required. If you do that laser, laser surgery, which is the, uh, these days is being done, uh, to change the um, focal length of the um, <clears throat> lens inside our eye. So likewise, it has gone to ideality. Every six technical system need not go to ideality, but the trend is always there. So other major trends, trend towards miniaturization, trends of merging with super system, trends of uneven development of subsystem, trend towards increased degree of freedom, trend towards lesser human involvement. These trends can be used to predict possible future evolution of technical system. We cannot say when the trends will, uh, trend will change, but what are the possible uh, ways in it will change? There are nine major trends. In all these nine major trends, what are what is possible that it can uh, uh, we can know. See if if there is there is a technical system which is here, which is already mature on a on a certain trend. If it is mature on a certain trend, there is no uh, no point working on it. We need to work on certain areas which which are which are here. So, because they have an evolutionary potential. If the evolutionary potential is already exhausted, there is no need to... Uh, it, is, it is wasteful to work on this. 
This is my last slide. Technical systems, uh, essence of traces, technical systems evolve towards increase of ideality, resolving contradictions without compromise by focusing on functionality, mostly with use of minimal, mostly with minimal introduction of new resources. These are some uh, recommended reading references. This is a great book. This is available on um, Amazon. This I can circulate. Actually, this is this is very easily available, and uh, you can download freely for, uh, from Google. And this is a uh, five hundred page book, and this is some kind of a Bible for uh, trace people, especially who are uh, using technical trees in their work. Thank you very much. I am open for questions now. Yeah. 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 Thank you yeah. very much yeah. for this yeah. wonderful yeah. presentation. Uh, we really appreciate your efforts. And uh, uh, it's a new technique we all learned today. Of course, I was talking to a few trees experts. And I think uh, in few sessions, we should take one case study so that uh, the things can be thoroughly understood. But the Satyajit Mittal's uh, growing food, uh, growing uh, uh, footwear for the growing food was a good example resolving such issues. Uh, we will throw open the uh, platform for question and answer. At first, please identify yourself and uh, then raise your question. Uh, good morning, sir. Myself, Jagdish from Nasik. Yes, Jagdish. Uh, yeah, uh, particular sir. Uh, actually, uh, as per my knowledge, problem solving uh, required the number of more person. As more person involved, maybe there is a easy solution, or maybe we can solve the problem easily. So, for trees, is such criteria? Uh, you know, you uh, do you mean that in in brainstorming, if more persons are involved, uh, there is a better uh, solution. Uh, solution is quickly find found uh, and. Is that what I understand correctly? Yes, sir. Uh, in trees, yes and no. Actually, even one individual can find solution quickly by going th going through finding uh, what is the key problem, formulating an ideal uh, final result, formulating a physical contradiction, and resolving that physical contradiction. So, but in real life situation. Uh, there is something called functional analysis which is done. So functional analysis um, goes through various functions performed by different components of a technical system and how they interact with other components. So this kind of thing, if it is done collectively, it creates a consensus in the, in the technical team. And that is why doing it collectively can be ad advantageous. Okay. Hello, I'm Krishna Puranik from Nasik. Yes. What I would like to know is uh, for the growing footwear, is it that as the child's foot grows and if the uh, footwear is based on some elastic material, will it not cause greater stress on the foot if uh, the footwear is constructed out of some elastic material to allow the growing foot to be accommodated? I'm just curious to know. Yes. Uh, now, what you have uh, problem you have stated is a secondary contradiction. The secondary contradiction also has to be resolved. I think the in the previous uh, presentations, fifteen days ago, Mr. Satyajit Bittal has actually resolved this secondary contradiction as well. Uh, sorry, I uh, could not attend that. So anyway, I will have to search if it is uh, information is available on Google. Yeah. Thank you. Recording is available. We will share the recording. Thank you. Thank you. It was a great session. Thank you. Sir, Thank minute, you. Sir, you say one minute? Say one minute. Say one minute. Sir, hey, uh, sir, hey, sir, to be formally correct, unconsciously, upon, we do it unconsciously. That is my opinion. But uh, how to do it formally and has been done in some successful cases. Is there any book available where all these steps are followed and how they are done actually in practice? 
हा हे मी जे तीन पुस्तक दिले आहेत ना हा हा त्याच्या तिन्ही पुस्तकांमध्ये पहिल्या दोन पुस्तकांमध्ये असे खूप केसेस आहेत ओके ओके ठीक आहे ठीक आहे आणि स्पेशली ते पहिलं पुस्तक आहे ना विक्टर फे यांचं ते सिंपल इंट्रोडक्टरी बुक आहे आणि त्याच्यात त्यांनी सगळ्या असेच केसेस आहेत की इन रिअल लाईफ सिच्युएशन हाऊ इट वॉज सॉल्व्ह ओके ओके थँक्यू सर सर ते तीन पुस्तक हो स्लाईड मध्ये आहेत ना नाही परत एकदा जर ग्रुप वर टाकली तर सगळ्यांना तीन पुस्तकांचे नाव हो हो मी टाकीन ग्रुप वर टाकीन आणि तिन्ही तिन्हीचे नाव टाकतो ग्रुप वर थँक्यू हे सगळं रेकॉर्ड चॅट मध्ये टाकता येईल का सर चॅट मध्ये टाकता येईल का आणि दुसरी गोष्ट म्हणजे लिंक द्याल का फॉर्टी टू चे आपण म्हटलं होतं लिंक का पीपीटी आहे कुठेतरी हो हो मी मी ते आपल्या ग्रुप वर शेअर करतो ना रबरे सर myself jagdish i request you that uh, uh, on the platform of tech forum can you arrange uh, some training on these trees uh, from the padikar sir so that uh, those interested p- uh, person will be attending this training on online or offline like this good idea yeah good idea but you can uh, have at least uh, 15 to 20 people so that uh, it will be uh, tech forum can take lead and organize it can you organize for 20 people from your industry Uh, okay sir i will check it because we are already using the ppi methodology uh, but it is not uh, as compared to as, as uh, previously i searched some trees details so ppi and uh, i compare the trees uh, there is a two different direction the object is same but the methodology is different but i found that the trees is better as compared to the ppi methodology yes i also think so uh, so we can organize a training program at a cost uh, but, but we should have sufficient participation Yes so, I think so yes I am I am okay with it minimum 20 participants should be there so that yes. it will be economical nice sir okay next question and we will be having one session on uh, problem yes. solving we will try to get one problem yes. and we will try to resolve it and we will take a, a ready made case where the problem is solved using trace techniques it is beneficial sir thank you yeah please go ahead the next question i request uh, today new participants to become tech forum member we have every fortnight such uh, technical presentation and the recordings are also available for the members uh, so that you can we have a, a youtube channel also for that the subscription is just 1000 rupees for the year and we will we have some offline as well as online presentations offline presentations are at institution of engineers pune and online are always available on the zoom uh, because of the recent trend people don't want to attend physically and that's why we started on this zoom is our own zoom professional platform so the recording quality as well as all the sessions you will find of a good quality i said quite a good listening uh, experience and uh, of course we will be having one more presentation after 15 days uh, the topic will be announced if you want to give any presentation in this group is most welcome and of course there is a queue and it is going to happen every fortnight on zoom and th- there is no bar for topics it should be interest of the people interest of the member interest of the industry and it should be useful for Uh, the so- society as such so we can always invite uh, the the presentations on innovations and uh, such new techniques of problem solving ultimately the purpose of this forum is a group of like minded technocrats come together to support and help each other so you can also pose your problem probably somebody in the group can take your problem and resolve it so that is the purpose of uh, the tech forum so we will take the last question Uh, let's see who is having vilas yeah please vilas this is rajan shangarpure yeah please go ahead can i can i add something to this 
Yes, yes, please go ahead. Yeah, since uh, we're talking about trees and uh, the technical contradictions and physical contradictions, I can uh, narrate one example of how we solve the problem. This was related to fusible resistor, a new product that was fusible wire bone resistor that was uh, developed in our company. And uh, while making the re resistor, one of the application is application of lacquer on top of the resistor body. <clears throat> The lacquer should be such that it should withstand the high surge and it should also fuse silently, not with the blast. If it fuses with the blast, then it can catch the PCB or the instrument can catch fire. So the fusing should be silent. At the same time, it should withstand high surge. So these were the contradicting requirements of the product. And uh, the contradiction uh, also was in the application of lacquer that the resin and the hardener which we were using that was such that it, it required a homogeneous mixing continuously but the design of the uh, lacquering equipment was such that only the bottom portion was getting uh, proper mixer mixing and the top portion of that uh, lacquer was not getting proper mixing as a result of that what used to happen that when the lacquer was fresh the application was uh, the application of lacquer on the register body was uniform and it was meeting the characteristics product characteristics of the contradiction that the fusing uh, silently as well as uh, withstanding high surge but after 10 15 minutes when you check the product uh, because it's an inline production then the uh, characteristics were not meeting it, the product is to burst, burst open and it's to catch fire. So that was the technical contra contradiction and also the chemical contradiction that was happening in the process. So what we did, we studied the physical performance of the application of lacquer. And we also had a similar uh, thing from a pharmaceutical industry where they, where they have these kind of a mixers that are taking place for uniformity. So we applied that particular technique and we separated the application of lacquer wheel from the mixing of the blades. And we prepared that lacquer pots like uh, you can say the Mahadev Pind. Mahadev Ji Pind as na? That type, sir. So the lacquer, mix, lacquer mixing motor was fitted on the top. So it was mixing uniformly. And the Mahadev Ji Pind is the Baju Asse Ji. That is we put a lacquer wheel. So, and that too on a uh, uh, slightly uh, slope, uh, we give a slope at the bottom of the lacquer tank. So that the, after application of the lacquer, whatever the remaining of the lacquer, that used to come in the center and then uniformity of the mixing, the homogeneity of the mixing that started taking place. As a result of that, the application of the lacquer became very good. The properties of the product also withstood that uh, high surge and uh, silent fusing and the problem has gone forever. So this Wonderful. was a really breakthrough that we got it. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah Rajan is my colleague from Philips India. That is, we oh, said, yeah. and this was a case of a fusible resistor which is used in electronics. Yes. So thank you, Rajan, for sharing this wonderful case. And we appreciate your thank support you. for this tech for Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, I thank everyone for uh, today's participation. Good uh, present today. Uh, the recording will be shared with everybody today, uh, either today or tomorrow. Uh, and uh, you can uh, listen to it again. Try to get clarifications. If you don't, if you have any queries, you can always raise your queries with Hemanji, and definitely you will yes, be. Yes, always. Yeah. And this, and, is, uh, this is yeah. what. This is the uh, uh, thing which I'll I'll share. Yeah, this is on on forty inventive principles. And, yeah, and yeah. Will us one more thing, as you said that you can uh, have like, if you're interested, you can give uh, come in the uh, tech, tech forum for sharing your experiences. So I think I can share my experiences on problem solving tools and techniques using design of experiments. Okay, if no problem. Interested, if people are interested, I can give I can talk about it. You're most welcome. I'll just find out the available date and let you know. So you are sure. most welcome. This is required by industry and all the participants in tech forum. And of course, we will also have some cases uh, from you on trades. Oh, so yes, that uh, this can also be uh, understood well if we give an example.
So, Aymanji, thank you very much for today's presentation. Uh, we really appreciate your enthusiasm and efforts. And also becoming a member, I again, once again, request Welcome, all the sir. to apply for membership. Uh, today's lecture is over. And now uh, we are closing down. Have a wonderful day and uh, see you after a uh, fortnight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,